Welcome back to the channel. Today we are installing the Home Wizard water meter. First we find the manual. It's an elaborate manual. Then we have the water meter. You can put batteries in but we are using the USB-C port then we have the mounting brackets these different brackets can be used in all the different water meters you saw in the manual And then we have the power supply with a 2 meter USB-C cable. When we take a look at the manual, the most important information is that when you use batteries, it will only be updated 4 times a day. When you use the power by cable option, it updates real time. We are going to do the last option. Now before you begin, Check which meter you have and check the manual which bracket we need. It's this one, that means we need this bracket with this screw. My meter is new, so I have to remove this piece of plastic to reveal the thread for the screw. Then we put on the mountain bracket and secure it with the provided screw. I apologize for the blurry image, my tripod shifted a bit. Then mount the water meter and plug in the USB-C cable to provide power. Now it's time to open the app. If you do not have the app, you can download it in the store for your device. In the app we need to go to settings, meters, add device, and then we select water meter. After this you just follow the steps on your screen. First try wasn't successful, so we're trying again. Do you want to connect with the water meter's Wi-Fi? Yes, we want to do that. Seems like it's working now. Now select your Wi-Fi network and provide your password when it's connected it will be added to your home next the device will update and we will fast forward this now we have to name the device, in my case, water meter. And now it wants to calibrate. 
So we opened the tab and calibrated the water meter. Now we are done. Installation succeeded. And now we can see the real time use of water in the app. Isn't that nice? When we close the app, we will add the water meter to Home Assistant. Go to Settings devices and services and since we already have the home widget integration the water meter is already found just press add and confirm by pressing submit we now get an error that the local api is not activated so we open the app and go to the device to activate the local api Let's try again to submit. Success. Now we will add it to the energy dashboard. Click on energy configuration in the top right corner and then click on add water source. Select the water meter sensor and click on save. You can fill in the prices but I did that later. Now water is added to the energy dashboard. The stats will build over time, so the first time you open this graph, it will not be filled with any data. Now I want to make a water only view. Add a view, choose masonry, give it a name, then choose an icon and press save. Now add a badge to the view, select all the water meter entities and choose continue. Add to dashboard and now we have all the entities in the quick view on top. And we add some cards. And I added two more Apex chart cards. If you want more information about Apex chart cards please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. I'm still learning. In this view you can see the active usage as well as the total usage in different graphs. And as I said before it takes time to collect all the data and to fill up your graphs. Now it's time to wrap up this video and give a special thanks to Home Wizard for sending me this water meter. As always, thanks to my Patreons. I hoped you liked this video, so please like and subscribe. If you wish to contact me, feel free to reach out. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next.